The fastest charging electric car in America. You wouldn't have thought it would be a General Motors EV. I mean, this is a bit of a shock, but as I've been saying now for a couple of years since GM actually revealed this vehicle, it's way more impressive than we're giving it credit. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you, thank you for tuning in. Yes, shamefully, I have to admit, I would love to own one of these. Not really shamefully, to be honest. I mean, I know a lot of people hate pickup trucks, but for me, it'd be great. The boys' surfboards, my surfboard would fit in the tray perfectly. Bikes would fit in there perfectly. The boys are doing a triathlon on Sunday this week. I stick bikes in there, and then I stick a couple of surfboards in there so they can go for a surf after their triathlon. It's awesome, right? It's just so good to have a pickup truck. That's what I'd be doing with this General Motors EV. And... It charges faster than any EV that's been tested so far in America. Now, the key reason for this is because General Motors did something which I've mentioned a few times, guys. I think it's a really smart idea. BYD are doing the same thing as well. General Motors tried to put a patent on it. I don't think you can patent this idea. It's kind of insane, right? You're trying to patent the idea of having uh, two separate battery packs in your EV so you can charge both at the same time. That's like, I don't know, patenting ice cream or something really simple. Anyway. Because there is two separate packs in the Silverado, by the way, enormous battery, it means that you can charge each individual pack separately, doubling the charging speeds. Now the Chevy Silverado EV 4WT variant has 24 modules of battery packs, basically 24 separate modules, 12 on the top, I guess you could say 12 on the bottom. GM says this EV with an EPA range of 450 miles can charge at 350 kilowatt from the right charger. Is this actually true? Well, yes, it can charge at these speeds. In fact, it's been seen now, tested a few times in America charging at more than this. In fact, it's charged at up to 360 kilowatt, which is incredible. And if you look at the charging curve here from this charging session, you can see that it, I mean, obviously it didn't charge anywhere near 350 kilowatt for the entire session, but it did for about maybe 20 minutes. It charged at around 350 kilowatt, which is amazing. And this is the biggest difference between the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Silverado EV. Now, when I reviewed this, the Ford F-150 Lightning, a lot of people criticized me. They said that I shouldn't be complaining about charging speeds of the F-150 Lightning. 150 kilowatt was fine. Well, it turns out Jim Farley didn't agree. Jim Farley took the F-150 Lightning for a drive and he said, yeah, charging is a problem. Charging speeds are not good enough. We needed a version two of this vehicle that is that can charge better because you think about it, right? The F-150 Lightning, it actually charges closer to 100 kilowatt. So the Silverado EV can charge about three times faster. That's a big difference. When you've got such a big battery pack, that's a big difference. And that was my point. If we're talking about small battery packs here, like you know, micro Chinese EVs, it doesn't really matter. But when you're talking about a battery pack this big, that charging speed does matter. And that's why Tesla are about to upgrade the charging speed of the Cybertruck. Now, apparently Cybertruck um, connections to Tesla's chargers hasn't always worked that well. So often the charging speeds are well below what they should have been. And it's Tesla are saying that they have an upgrade coming within the next couple of weeks that will fix that, enable it to charge at similar speeds to the Silverado EV. Now it's yet to be seen if that's gonna happen in terms of matching the Silverado EV, but either way, it's gonna be a nice improvement for Cybertruck owners. And surely you would think it would be significantly faster than Ford's F-150 Lightning charging. Now, speaking of fast charging, there's a lot of vehicles now that can charge at these speeds. There is actually. In China, for example, there are EVs now that can charge at 550 kilowatt max. That's even using lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL. Speaking of those LFP batteries from CATL, the Shenzhen battery well, has been seen charging at those speeds in Geely electric cars. I believe Zika EVs now that have CATL's Shenzhen battery, they've been seen charging at 550 kilowatt speeds, which is amazing. But that would mean, seeing as Tesla apparently will be using that battery pack for the new Tesla Model Y Juniper, it would mean potentially if Tesla were to use that battery pack in the Juniper EV, we might be seeing speeds of 300, 400 kilowatt. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it definitely could. That battery pack is capable of incredibly fast charging speeds. And it's not the only one. There's lots of different batteries now from different manufacturers now 
that are capable of charging at these kinds of ridiculous speeds. And you would think, right, maybe the battery is more likely to die, you know, not last as long, but the battery packs are lasting for hundreds of thousands of miles, even with only very small degradation. Now, getting back to the Silverado charging, it actually charged at over 340 kilowatt until it reached 30% state of charge. It then started to go down, but it still stayed above 220 kilowatt until hitting 75%. Even at that point, charging was still impressive. It was still pulling around 50 kilowatt after 90%. That's normally when battery packs charge really slowly. I don't really recommend, to be honest, charging a battery pack above 90% unless it's sitting at home. Sitting in your garage, yeah, it doesn't matter. But you're going to be charging it pretty slowly. Who cares? But if you're charging on a fast charger, you probably wouldn't bother charging above 90%. It's just a massive waste of time because it takes a long time to get from 90% to 100%. So really what we're looking at here is how fast can you get from say 10% to 80% state of charge. And the Silverado EV is the fastest charging vehicle that we know of in the US right now based on real world charging. So, you know, kudos to General Motors. Now, speaking of kudos to General Motors, you know, guys, I am critical of car companies when they make great products and they don't make many of them. So far, General Motors has produced a very, very small number of Silverado pickup trucks. They do have apparently more than 200,000 pre-orders. It's not a lack of demand. I don't think it is. It's not a lack of a demand that is holding up GM from getting more sales for this pickup truck. It's really coming down to one thing. They lose too much money on them. They do. I mean, the long range version of the Silverado EV is less than $80,000. The battery pack would probably cost that much by itself. I mean, the battery pack is, you know, it's over 200 kilowatt hour pack and it's not a cheap battery pack. It's not lithium ion phosphate. It's manufactured by GM in the United States using union labor. That's expensive. It is. And that is the reason why I think General Motors doesn't want to make too many Silverados too quickly. Thanks for watching.